Hey what's up, today I want to make a video showing you how you can play any Battle.net games on Linux. And the reason I wanted to do that is because World of Warcraft is one of my favorite childhood games and unfortunately as of right now Blizzard, the company that does World of Warcraft and other Battle.net games, doesn't seem to be supporting Linux users and so they have versions for Windows and Mac which are the most popular and obvious operating systems, but unfortunately Linux is not yet supported. If you go on Steam, some of their games are actually available on Steam, like Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. I haven't personally tested them, but if you go on ProtonDB.com and you just look at uh, the result of some people, you can see that Diablo 4 is verified and it seems playable on Steam. And so people seem to have a good experience with Diablo 4. And if you look at Overwatch 2, it seems playable, but it's not verified. And so if you look, some people seem to be able to play it. And so you might have to test it out. And so both of these games, you should be able to play them using Steam Proton. But again, games like World of Warcraft are still not supported by either Blizzard or Steam. So maybe at some point Blizzard could simply add more of their game on Steam so that we could be able to play them uh, using Proton. But as of right now, if you want to play other Battle.net games like World of Warcraft, Starcraft, uh, Archstone on Linux, then we have to do a bunch of workarounds to make it work, which is exactly what I'm going to show in this video. So first of all, the necessary app to play Blizzard game, which is called Battle.net, isn't available on Linux. And so what we have to do here is that we have to install Lutris. We can install it on our computer. And so it should be available on any app store, or I think it's even available on Flathub as well. And so you can just install that. So Lutris is basically a platform that allows us to run and execute games on Linux using maybe Flatpak, Proton, Wine and other things. And so what we can do here is that once this is installed, we can go on the Lutris website and we can search for Blizzard. And so here the Blizzard Battle.net. And so what we can do from here is that we can install this launcher and can open the link and it's going to open it using Lutris and so Lutris is going to open this link and here it's telling us that it is going to uh, use Wine to basically install and use the Blizzard Battle.net launcher so we can simply install that and you can also select the installation directory that you want to put it so I'm just gonna change it to put it in my other folder I'm gonna actually I'm actually going to create another folder here I call it battle.net so I can click OK continue so now Lutris is going to install the battle.net launcher on my computer using wine all right so Lutris right now is kind of installing battle.net and now I have to go through some of these updates all right so again it's just part of the installation I'm going to uncheck the Battle.net thing here. All right, so now it's asking me to log into my Battle.net account. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. All right, so now that the Battle.net launcher is now installed and seems to be working properly and that I'm now logged in, I should be able to install any game that is available on on Battle.net. And so in my case, since I might want to play World of Warcraft, uh, I can simply select World of Warcraft and then install it. And then it's going to install the game in the folder that we previously uh, chose using Battle.net. And so here I'm just going to uh, deselect these and I'm going to install. That being said, you could do the same thing with any of these other games. Once the download is over, you can simply launch the game. So now I can get to the character selection and I'm not yet subscribed. I'm not, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to subscribe, but I can log into one of these characters that are quite low level. So let's just try this one out just for fun. So there you go. I'm able to log in into World of Warcraft and start playing World of Warcraft. If you ever need to launch the Blizzard Battle.net launcher, what you can do is simply go in Lutris and inside Lutris, the Battle.net launcher that I installed there is kind of saved there. And so if you want to launch the application again, you can simply 
I select it and click play. And so that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope that this video was helpful to you. If this video was valuable for you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts and comments could also be valuable to other people. So that's pretty much it. Peace.